now. Uh, I guess this is a video that we have to make. So, basically the topic of today is about water waves. Surprise, surprise, I know, right? Now, I really wished that this kind of content should not be made for this game, but unfortunately, again, surprise, surprise for new games in 2024, they release and they don't work. They're bad. They don't have enough content. And yeah, just like having the first, like a first bad first impression. Man, like when are these guys gonna like devs gonna learn how to release a good game anymore? Like I said, it's been a long time since a good game released, like straight off the bat. But yeah. So water and wakes. What's been happening? What hasn't been happening, to be honest? Um, so yeah, so basically people, a lot of people, basically can't play the game because of technical issues, crashes, lag, frame drops, all of that. Now, in my day one live stream, I didn't experience any of that. So I was just, you know, playing the game, having a good time. You know, there's stuff about the game itself, the content that's bad. I'm going to go into a little bit later, but like I didn't experience any of the technical issues. But apparently everyone else did, especially if you're on phone. If you're on phone, basically you're gonna play the game. And I still fail, and I think you still can't. Because it overheats, lag, FPS, all of that, you know, how it is. Which is crazy, because like, that should be their primary, like, audience, I guess. So I don't know how that happened with the phones, but yeah, anyway. And it looks bad as well, like it's crazy on the phone. It's not even funny. Yeah. So basically what that means is that you know people couldn't play the first day. So then FOMO started to kick in, you know, fear of missing out, that's what you call it. And it's just people because of that, because they missed out on the first day. Now there's been like fixes and stuff, right? Also hopefully that fixed something. I don't know what actually changed. But it's just been so sad. It's like people couldn't play. I've had one guy in my chat. And I'm like a zero streamer viewer, a zero viewer streamer that asked me, hey, my game doesn't work. Can you help? And I'm like, I don't know, man. I'm just like some normal guy that woke up like way too early to play the game because that's when it came out. Um, yeah, that sucked. And it's also like, it was only one guy. So like, I didn't think too much about it. Maybe it was just like him, like being stupid or something maybe. But no, it was like a legit problem, pro uh, probably. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Even if like I got asked, like, hey, this game doesn't work, I need help. It's crazy. Like me. Boy, like anyway. But yeah. So what else? I guess that's like the technical issues. Again, first impression, bad. You know, you can play the game. <laughs> then first impression is bad. Again, because of content of the game. Now I've done Act 1 to Act 4 of the main story, it's mid. I can't like, like on my video, previous video, I said, oh yeah, it's, you know, it's good, it has this bomb with his car, or it has like all of that, but I just meant straight up, like I don't care about anything that's happened so far in the story, and nothing really happened yet either. So yeah, and even like the good moments, like I don't know, like people are chatting about the like, the scar scene with the goats and all that, right? Like nah, that was long and boring. And that's about it. But anyway, um, yeah, this story, there's like none of that. Basically, the companion mission I've done so far, Ling Yang, too long, pointless. Like we just found out that Ling Yang was an animal that could use, that has like that was a resonator, and then he turned himself into a human because he wanted to assimilate into humanity, civilization. And that was cool, I guess, but I think that was only said at the end, the last two minutes. Up until that, we were helping someone else with Ling Yang there, but nothing, I don't know, it's kind of dead and too long, way too long. Or just like, how much XP did they give? Like 600 XP. If it was that long, you should have give like 1k XP or something. Like, come on. Um, that's what you know, because we're trying to like power level now, you know? So that's that. What else? Stories made. 
combat at the beginning of the game is too easy. Like, uh, that's what I'm gonna say. I wouldn't be struggling. There's been the Inferno Rider in the exploration quest, which was like, yeah, kind of cool. But that was until like, you got his moves down and that's it. Like, if you only level the characters, which is what I've done, I haven't leveled any echoes or anything, you have enough stats to just survive without a healer. And do enough damage to kill them, like, before they kill you, kill you type of thing. Like, really? Like, no, like, I don't have to use the parry mechanic, the dodge mechanic. I haven't had to really think about playing the game so far, so... There you go. And that's what people have experienced as well. Which is crazy. Now... Another thing, to be honest, I kind of killed it. There's, there's been a couple of glitches and like localization mess ups, I guess, mess ups, which kind of like kills like enjoyment and like kind of takes me out of the game whenever you see that. So there's been like, um, for some reason, voice and text lines just skip by themselves. What is that about? Um, what else? But right, the, the, like the whole like. You know, part of the story being like not that great, it may be because of like the whole like Chinese terminology type of thing, which I don't understand. Kind of like the names, right? Like I don't remember the names because they're Chinese. Like, okay, you know, it's a Chinese game, but like, it's like a global worldwide game. I don't know. But yeah, it's just like for me, that's the problem, right? Um, I just don't understand a bunch of stuff that's happening. Um, and I don't care because again, as I said in my previous video, no character progression really. Don't really care about side characters. They don't have that much depth. It's whatever. Um, so yeah, that and then also voice actors. But the English VAs, like, like people are saying it's hit on miss with some of them. None of them are hit yet. They just feel like out of place. I kind of like this. Is like goes more into more detail, but like the, the like mixing, I guess, with their voice. I don't know. It just sounds weird. It's like really high, like treble on the, their voice for some reason. Like it's not like bassy enough, and it sometimes like kind of like peaks as well. But like not really. But like it gets close, kind of thing. You know, it's like it's weird. I don't know. Their voices are. Anyway, I'm sure the voice actors are great. You know, thanks for that. But I just don't care about your voice in the game. At the moment, um, for anyone that I've met so far, it's just like what else can I say, man? It's just so depressing. So, but there's some good news, uh, you know, showing that Kuro Games is like listening at least a little bit, I guess, is we have some posts from Kuro Games that want to like kind of react to so I'm give me one sec I'll go to that now but first let me turn off the music in this because we need to go to our fellow translator because this is only Bilibili like why did I have them made any posts on Twitter about any of the shit that's going down or like another English social media platform this thing is only on Bilibili the like announcement that they made like that's kind of stupid like why okay Hey guys, Mr. Poki here, back with another video. Uh, so this is the follow-up to all of the absolutely new like reaction news, from day one, right? Insane news. I hope my editor gets this up as soon as possible. So if you guys are watching this, you have probably watching this video after yep. the CN. Also, a bunch of things I said was from the previous video. I'll link it down below so you guys can watch it. It's pretty good. Really good news. The launch of watering ways, right? So, but just like I felt like I needed moment, to say something as well, has been up for the past just one the more awareness there is of how the games are now, uh, the, the more of an informed decision you can make to regarding the we time into experience it. as well as a ways to improve the gameplay. And it has something so to do even more rewards, right? There's gonna be even more rewards on top of the 10 points. So, the context to this is that they already gave us a 10 standard pool, so they're gonna give us another one. So, now when I logged in just now, I got two 20 standard pools. We have gotten today on top of the temple we've gotten today. So without further ado, let's get into today's content. Subscribe! God, it's just sad. It's not looking good, but I don't know. 
Apparently, Act 5 and 6 are supposed to be so, really good for story. I'm so, I'm always going to be sick. translating this right now. So, as we are approaching, as we are improving the game updates, uh, we are going to be improving the overall game experience. And to show our team's sincerest apologies, on the 25th of May, 10 a.m., GMT 8, uh, all players are going to get another 10 pool. They are gonna get another ten pool, right? You're gonna yep. be able to get so we've already got that by the time this video comes up. Uh, so twenty ten pools of July, but from the mail. This, right? so you must yes, because of how bad the first experience is. Level two, right? So you're gonna get another ten pool. That's number one. All right. So they have made the following improvements into the game, right? First of all, uh, they have made the improvements regarding the skip function, right? So now they have improved the. I'm not sure if this is going to be completely <laughs> every single cutscene or every single dialogue. They have basically said all cutscenes, you can skip them. And they have also supported uh, the problems of, I think, dialogues cutting early. All right, so they have oh, they fixed that. The That's nice. That was so annoying. That kind of like killed it. Because like the magistrate was like talking uh, about you and we just skip it. So annoying. Skippable. All right. Da Futu is like greatly enhanced the main stories. Uh, okay, I think it's, it might not be all. I think, I think it might, it's greatly enhanced the amount of cutscenes that's capable. So inclusive of the entire cutscene in chapter one. So all of chapter one main story is going to be skippable. Uh, also nice. supports, I guess this is even more skips. Uh, this is going to be... This is Yingling, I believe. So this is going to be Yingling's companion mission. I think this is going to be Yingling's companion mission. So basically, they added more skip. Right? So the first thing that they've added is going to be skip functions as well as looking forward to the Yingling's companion mission. Number two, right. enhance okay. battle experience. I don't care about skipping because I'm so not going to skip. During the current fights in, in, in battle, uh, rovers have felt that uh, there, are, there are certain not great qualities towards the combat. Uh, sometimes when they get hit, they don't even feel the difference of getting hit or not getting hit. Uh, I think this yeah, that's the thing with the game being too easy in early game. More experience is not great. Uh, overall, Mobile the sucks. camera yep. POV, the camera angles, it might not, it might, up, it might be obscuring your vision when it comes to trying to dodge. So there's gonna be right. The thing with camera, there was this thing where like, I don't know why or what, but I think it was like quest related. Whenever you were killing someone like an enemy during the quest, you're like, camera gets put on them. No, I think this is both out of quest as well. Like your camera gets put on them, you kill them. I don't know if it's because you're killing them too quickly or what. You kill them, but then your camera stays on that dead corpse. So even though you're trying to like look away because they're dead, right? To like move on. You can't. The camera the camera keeps dragging you back. Like that's so annoying. Now that happened a couple of times. Yeah, anyway. Improvements regarding I guess just the overall different combats will have different improvements. Um the aim is to just help the flow be help the flow feel a bit better. When you're doing combat in 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 watering waves, as well as I guess Bro. this is more towards mobile. Uh, I think the mobile experience in Genshin uh, in modern waves might not be that great, so I think they also improved the mobile experience for users as well as yeah, that's very good. Okay, number three is the big one. Number three big is the one. big one. Let's see. To thank the supports of the rovers, especially uh through this you know uh not so great first day, we are gonna be getting a free five star standard selector as a token of appreciation so this is gonna come one day after tomorrow so tomorrow right now right now it's 24th of may right tomorrow we're getting another temple and the day after tomorrow we're gonna be getting another five star completely free on top of our current 80 selector right right now we have a five star selector at like why okay well i mean Office is good. I'm excited. Like, you know, people won't complain about meta because you can't get Verena and Calcharo and then you just win the game, basically. Um, but, like... Bro, like... Then, like, what's the, what's the point? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, like, really excited at the same time, but, like, I'm kind of, like... You know, I already have the characters that I want. So there's no more... Gacha is out of the game for me at this point. Because I have Jiang Jin and then I'm gonna get Kalcharo and that's it. I have all the characters that I want. So like, you know, I can't make any funny like, haha, gacha videos, I lost my 50-50. Or like I got the wrong character type of thing. Anyway.
80 boost. We're gonna get another oh, that's really good. five star standard selector. I guess do combat cough for more right from day one. And a five star standard selector. Anyone that played this game and you guys didn't get the credit. Time to get them back in, right? Game. Maybe you got, like, oh, look, you, you get like so many five right? free stars. Right? Uh, three five stars. Can't play the game. Surely it's good. Because everyone and their moms are gonna be able to get this five star standard selector going from oh. the 26th of May onwards, right? So yeah, feel free to go ahead and use it. This is absolutely insane. So uh, I don't really know. I don't think this needs to be talked about much further. Everybody and their moms are gonna be able to get the five stars. So you're gonna get Tianxing, Encore, Verena, uh, Kalkaro, as well as Yingling, right? So uh, not Yingling, <laughs> Ling Yang, Ling Yang, Ling Yang. Uh, so yeah. Uh, that's really, really good. So that's gonna be the point number three, Ooh. and probably the biggest point of all. Um, and last point, uh, number four. I'm so glad I got Jianqin. Um, my fifth, my beginner band. Movement of our. Oh, it is just the overall graphics. I think they just want to improve the overall game assets. Uh, so. In the future, we are going to be improving our overall in-game content, uh, improving the overall activities such as uh, they are also in development. For example, uh, NPCs overall graphics design. I think there were complaints on how the NPCs, the facial structure look a little bit weird or that just too, just not good enough. So they're going to improve the NPCs. Oh, really? I thought the NPCs uh, look good, actually. The, oh, I believe weird. this is okay. the zoning of the maps. They're gonna make it more clear to differentiate like the high grounds and low grounds. Because right now I have one of this issue where I don't really know if I'm on the high ground or the low ground. So maybe they're gonna be adding that in the future. Uh, more ways to play okay. to transform sure. into air. So we're gonna get even more echoes, right? So right now we have a llama. So we're gonna get even more echoes. To so these are all gonna come in the future. So still currently in development, right? We okay, do more know, we cool. deeply acknowledge that watering ways right now, there are, there are certain shortcomings. There are certain things that we can improve on. Uh, in the future, we're gonna continue to progress and develop and enhance the game content as well as the game experience for all our players. Uh, once again, thank you to all Rovers for co their continued support for Watering Waves. Alright, so this just came in roughly one hour ago, literally one hour ago. Nine, 10,000 upvotes, 10.4 thousand comments. Um, and yeah, TLDR tomorrow we'll get another 10 pool. The day after we're gonna get another five star. Uh, they're gonna improve the amount of cutscenes that we can skip uh but i think some cutscenes you can't skip are specifically animations right the full animations i don't think you can skip them uh, but I mean, for most fine. of our yeah. cutscenes now they're gonna increase the amount of times we're gonna be able to skip this cutscene so that's gonna be the tldr with fight on the water so i mean that's yeah. good you can skip playing yanks quest holy shit because you don't need to watch that that's crazy emergency update uh feel free to leave your thoughts down in the comments what do you guys think about water waves uh, i just finished watching and there it is. God. I like. Like, it's just so sad I had to get to this point, you know? And. In my opinion. They didn't fix anything. Which, I mean, I guess since it's only been one day, right? Like, why? Are games being released as unfinished? Like, what the fuck? Like, what's the problem? Like, I don't understand. Like, what's so hard? Just finish the game. You know, if you're planning to release it in English, make sure the localization is good. The voice actors mixing is good. Uh, like, there's no bugs. Because, like, there's so many bugs that are happening to me. Surely, if you have playtesters, they're going to experience those bugs. Like, why the rush to release? Just so you can release before Zelda Zone Zero? Really? Like, in my opinion, Zelda Zone Zero is not going to compare to Water and Waves because they're completely different games. But anyway, like, oh, why? Such, it's just like, and you can't use the bullshit like, oh, they're a smaller company or whatever. No, you can't. It's like, that doesn't matter. Like, if you're saying you're going to release this game, Release it so it's playable, at least, you know, like, fuck. <laughs> My god, it's so annoying. But yeah. And there it is. Leave your comments down in the description. Tell me how you feel about day one Wandering Waves. For me, it was really fun. Bugs were annoying. And thankfully, none of the technical issues happened to me. Um, I guess I just have, like, a good of a PC or something. I mean, I do have a good PC, but, like... 
it's a gacha game. It shouldn't it should be a phone game. It shouldn't be like that intense. Like I feel like there's like memory leaks and stuff for like your um, RAM and stuff like that. Like they're happening. So you, you have to like close the application from task manager. So you can RAM stop being, stop being like leaked by whatever it is. I don't know how it works, but it has some bullshit like that. Like like performance stuff, man. Like come on. Ow. It's so sad. Anyway, well. Goodbye, Wandering Waves. It's been fun. You're dead now. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Cool, that's about it. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.